Hello, and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. When we last left off, we got into the VIP section. Let's talk to the person who got us back here. I still feel bad about leaving our new friend like that, but there are others to chat with. We have no time to lose. True. You at least say hi. This is exactly what I needed to get my mind off things. I bet. Skinny hybrid with green skin and pointy ears. Hello. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. Oh. Dancing's all fine and good, but gosh, is it exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's dance in. Table seems so lonely when everyone's off dancing. Can't be helped for now. You'll have to table your concern. Uh, it's Jess, your feline hybrid acquaintance. I can touch Jess. We'll say hi. And you're back. Yep. You know, as soon as I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net and I'd never have to see you ever again. Yeah, I guess I'm a bad penny. So, of course, I just got off the phone with Tomcat, practically begging me to help you out. You aren't so good at the long-term play thing, are you? Yeah. yeah. I think we got off to a bad start here. You mean you don't stick both feet in your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising. Yeah. Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I owe Tomcat. I don't owe you shit. Okay. So if you want my help, you gotta do something for me. Okay. If you got a problem with that, tough. My neighborhood, my help, my rules. All right. I'd be happy to help. What do you need? What I don't need is you kissing my fuzzy ass. Oh. Only people I like get to do that. I'm not buying it anyway. Okay. I need you to break up those human revolution protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. Okay. I'd like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles, and this media circus is making their lives difficult. Right. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. Uh, let's not make jokes. I know it's not my business, but are you okay? Sound upset. I'm just great. I'm peachy. My clients get harassed and beaten on the daily. I don't have the time or money to help them all. And I have jackasses like you bothering me on my one day off. Right. So, you gonna braid my fur and we can talk about all our problems and boys we like? Yeah, I'm sorry, Jess. Just want to help. You want to help? Don't treat hybrids like animals for living out their lives. Okay. Shit. All of this isn't even a choice for some of us. Right. You want to know what my deal is? You really want me to get sappy? Sure. Skin cancer. Oh. Stage three. My prognosis was so advanced that the doc said my bones were already lost. Hmm. So I had to do something drastic. Completely restart my biology from scratch. Hmm. You ever seen someone with a severe gene splice? From something freaky, like an insect? That's where hypertech began, you know. Where my therapy started. I see. You can't imagine what it's like to have children cry from just looking at you. When people just see you and sprint the other direction. I had police following me everywhere I went. I lost my apartment. I lost my dignity. Eventually, I was lucky enough to qualify for the cute kitty cat cure to override the expression of the chitin. Mm. It changed my life. I have my job and purpose because of it. The fur doesn't scare the rest of the world too much to let me exist. I see. Better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than the monster from a horror VR drama from Japan. My mom still can't look at me straight. Not to get even mushier, but as a kid, 
She would sing me a song as she counted all the freckles on my face. She hasn't let that go. You know how your folks look at you when they figure out you finally had sex or did crash? It's like that. All the time. Ah. Sorry that happened to you. Oh, now you're sorry. You haven't even heard the worst part yet. The amount of gene therapy I underwent exceeded the limit that the Human Protection Act allows for procreation. Oh. So yeah, the government freaking spayed me, if it all wasn't hilariously dark enough. Mm. First I'm too ugly to look at, now I'm too screwed up to breathe. Saving my own life forfeited my right to be a person. Yeah. Human Protection Act. Ha! Apparently protecting humans doesn't include me. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. In any case, I had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my feline gene therapy. Uh, what? Wow. So I took those bastards to court and won. And I've been doing the same thing for everybody else ever since. That's good. So, there you go. I got cancer, Super Science fixed me up and left me a freak, and then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. Hmm. And everyone else gets to be the winner by default. Happy now? How's your savior complex doing? This getting you off? Oh, you're not dead. You're still fighting. Yeah, I am. Now show me that you're on the right side. I'll be watching. Break up those protests, and then we'll talk. All right. Arcade Street added to city map. All right. It sounds like we know what we need to do next. Yep. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. All right, let's head out. <sighs> well, there are the protesters. Yep. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. Mm -hmm. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. Mm. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Nice. Yep. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Yep. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution Organization. Mm -hmm. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Hmm. Fascinating. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Maybe. It's a Hesse bar. All drinks made with Hesse, and the drinks mostly have covering properties. Here's one of the leading gene therapy clinics in the city. They're holding a sign. One half of Stay Pure. Another one of the Human Revolution protesters. Seeing passion and diligence despite how long they've been out there. Protests for the Genus Clinic. Looks more than a couple people are part of these after all. Ah, police rob, though. No. It's unit NSFPD 20. Just here to keep the peace. I'm here to ensure the protest remains peaceful. I see. Well, I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna pull a gun. The police stream pills here. It, is this even legal? Now, 
Animated older man leads the group protesters. Hello there! Oh. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? Uh... I have pamphlets! Here, take one! Okay... Let's see, I could go with my whole journalism approach. Sure. Any story on the protest? Can you speak on the record? Um, the press hasn't been so kind to us lately. Mm hmm. They try to feign neutrality, but just look at the way we get covered. It's disgraceful. Ah. But no matter. I'll show good faith that you are after what all of us here are after the truth. Uh, we huh. in the human revolution just want people to really think about the technology and bodily enhancements they use every day and decide if they're actually better off. Right. What questions can I answer for you? Hmm. Well, I guess we can start with the basics. What's the ultimate goals? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make, before it's too late. Uh -huh. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety. Hmm. The revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. Right. How far back and how many people are you willing to kill? This world is Icarus flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Just uh, because we huh. can, doesn't mean we should. And you're not arrogant? And why protest at this clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. Uh -huh. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Right. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. Uh -huh. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. Uh, if you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. Right. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. And how do you plan on enacting? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The uh -huh. human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. Right. It falls to us to make sure the people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Ugh. We have reports of a break-in at the home of a parallax researcher with human revolution graffiti at the scene. Yep. You have any comments? Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. Mm, do you not? We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But... The record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. Mm. 
I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Notice you're, you're throwing the younger members under the bus. Couldn't it just uh, be easily an older member who wants things to move faster? Now, not to cut this too short, but I need to get back to my people. I hope I've answered all your questions. You have not. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. <laughs> I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Maybe. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. Well, what do you think about what he said? I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the meshnet had led me to believe. I'm not sure about that. And if you think he was telling the truth. Oh, well, he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. Mm -hmm. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? I don't think he was telling us everything. Hmm. Continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Yes, all right. Lead on. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Yep. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Hmm. Like something in front of us? A weather bot? Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassi Bar based on this identification marker. I see. Hassi Bar is another favorite local spot. It's open 24 7. Best place to buy in plenty of great new Hassi flavors. Hello? Let's not. Two's company, three's a cloud. Uh huh. Hassy Holden just released a new Hassy Hot Cup. Disgusting combination of Hot Cup, Instant Ramen, and Hassy Hot. Ugh. Even though it's been around so long, Sutra Tower is still very useful as a powerful broadcasting antenna for high speed data. Out of range, soothing hum you hear while staring out the common view speaks louder in the end. Her mix of weather sounds and natural ambience fills your ears. As your bar door is the best wreath on it. Can I go in? Duck game, the game is traditional video game. It's really become a popular VR sport. All the kids are quacking about it. Interesting. Another VR poster, business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. Featured documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality, which is probably most of it. Protester for Magical Commander Yukio, Magical Girl VR drama. Rumors of the plants here are actually given Hesse, not water. That uh, would probably kill them. A picturesque Christmas tree of magical. Rances are perfectly shaped. Every decoration is placed meticulously, so it is very fake. Copy table. Good for playing games, reading feeds while sipping on a Hesse. And digital Hesse menu. Even if you don't want to drink, it's fun to watch the screen flash. They have all the basic Hassy flavors, but their specialty menu has other Hassy bar exclusive drinks like Sassy Hassy, Poison Hassy, Classy Hassy, or a Grassy Hassy shot. Uh huh. This ROM serves up the Hassy. Hello? You buy a half and Hassy. Yum. Everyone loves Hassy. 
like they got a full stuffed Hassie. I really do like a good sassy Hassie. Hassie Hot is also great. See you seems bored. So Ron the hand all the ordering? Not much for her to do right now. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Aww, that is the most adorable little Rom. Oh yeah. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? It's so moe. They're a uh, custom model. Oh wow, you don't see a whole lot of those around. Yeah. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good with the home printer too. I'm impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? Yeah, a drink. Maybe some info. A drink I can do. And I guess I have some time to talk. That's good. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. I'd imagine. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. Oh, that's very naughty. So, what do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Hello, Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. Well, sometimes we don't like talking about ourselves. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan, and bought this place. Oh, wow. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. <laughs> my priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls in that order. I see. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Oh. You don't seem pleased about the human revolution out there. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. That is uh, perfectly reasonable. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. Probably. So I'll be voting appropriately. That's good. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! <laughs> Why would they come after you? Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cab crash when I was a kid. Oh. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. I see. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Yeah, noticed. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket power fist. What more <laughs> do they want? Is that your climate control realm outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. I see. Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holding. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. Mm -hmm. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. <laughs> it can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. Oh. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. Mm-hmm. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. <laughs> Otherwise, no touching. You called Turing Moe? Sorry. Otaku speak. That's fine. I just mean he's really cute and lovable, and you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? <laughs> A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. That's fine. Otaku as in... Japanese cartoons? Yeah. I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Ah. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been to Tokyo twice already. Oh... The old otaku resist the new culture of the saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Uh-huh. The saishi? Oh, sorry. The saiba shibito. The cyber den. Oh. In the early 21st century, 
Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. <laughs> Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. Uh -huh. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Uh -huh. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. True. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. Uh, yeah? Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. Uh, but huh. enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. Probably. It's a trip, especially for you. Guys. I think okay. Enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Right. Sidewalks mostly empty, besides all the protesters. Yep. Hmm. Can we this use it? This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. I see. I'm glad to your idea and spits out some snow put in front of it. Swell. Now well, we can present this business card we've got from uh, the big wig. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Yeah. I've heard of him. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? Yep. Why are you giving me his card? Yeah, I work for him. Looking to buy a climate control ROM like yours. Yes! He's getting on in years and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. Yeah. That's why we wanted to see it before. Get a close look to make sure it'll suit his purposes. Uh... Yeah, okay. I guess you can take it easy. Thanks. Don't bust it, though. We'll try not to. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Okay. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Yep. Shall we go check it out? Oh, absolutely. Turing insulating another insulting another ROM? Okay, maybe we can use. Mm, this ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Mm -hmm. Yep. Should I switch it to snow mode? Absolutely. Yep, turn this baby on. Okay, people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Thank you. Snow mode deactivated. Excellent work. Thank you. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. That's the important thing. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. <laughs> hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Yep. Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. <laughs> They are bad enough to the rest of the presents. Who damaged my home in the name of revolution? True. Hey, 
Maybe. We can talk to him. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. Absolutely. They may even point us to the true culprits. I know. They've noticed our attentions. Come along. Maybe we can catch them. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on. I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. <laughs> I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. Okay. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Uh, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. Yep. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. <laughs> Perhaps we should call Tomcat. We could. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Eh, good idea. Let's ring him up. Excellent. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. Hello. How's the search for the data cache going? Yeah. Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. Yeah. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <laughs> <sighs> no can do, little guy. Uh. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Makes sense. Unless... Oh? Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Okay. All right. Yeah, I went faster than spin on a skillet. Okay. Yeah, I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. Okay. The back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Oh. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Yep. Uh, what can we do? I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Okay. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. <laughs> Just push on the map and load it up on Turin's face. Sorry, Turin. Okay. Ooh, they're on the move. Okay. Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. Right. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. Okay. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. Thanks. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. Right. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Right. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go-around. Mm-hmm. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this V out from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this old trick is over. Right. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. Yep. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. Okay. We only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. Yep. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. True. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to short wire the auto cab. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. What do you think our next move should be? Hmm. Yeah, don't let them move east. Turn, I can't 
can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. Okay. It's up to you now. Don't right. let those punks escape, and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get them. Right. Got it? Hopefully. Um... No matter where they are, I can hold them here. So. Huh. Cool. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want you to go that way. If you go that way, and I'm not guaranteed you're gonna do that. Okay, if I do here and you go that way, I can block both of those off and then block both of these off. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. Here means I'll block you off here. And you're probably not going to double back, so I'm just going to block you off here. Okay, so you are blocking off that way. Gotcha. Only come to my area. Bing. Well, it's 
hard for us to say that they need to be visited by the laws, but let's see what they know. We just have a few questions for you, sirs, if you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. Yep. Are your glasses broken? I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Yeah. Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide! Yeah. Uh, what's spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. Ah. Oh. These are the tools of our trade! Yep. These are all above board and legal. Okay. We just got done making a piece for a client. Oh. That's right! We're artists! And what's in the bag? You a cop? Cause if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag! Well, why'd you run? Running? Who's I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. <laughs> er, right! We just got places to get to, and gotta go fast! You're holding us up! This is ridiculous. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance! I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Yeah. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I oughta... Chad, I think they're on to us. Maybe we just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops? That would make sense. Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! Ah, I was just wondering when they were gonna start using the F word. I only went along with this because you said we would go to a movie afterwards. Oh. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because you're dad... Don't talk about my dad. <laughs> they decided not to call him... Uh, Oliver? <laughs> okay. Fine. Whatever. We'll answer your friggin' questions. Okay. Why'd you tag Hayden's apartment? Aw, oh, man. No big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? Yeah. We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? Okay. We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy rom over there. Know anything about the kidnapping? K kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Yeah. Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. And why'd you take the gate data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing. Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. Here, you can have it. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks for giving it back. Yeah. Maybe you should give up vandalizing people's homes. You should probably work on corporate uh, storefronts instead. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. No problem. Alright, let's go catch that movie. Great! Can we get dinner first? Oh. Sure. Whatever you want. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, that's not right. I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Yeah. Incoming call from Tomcat. Oh. Hey, folks. Hello. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. Okay. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the parallax network. That should help our hunt. Okay. Did you get the data cache? Yep. Yes, those punks happen to have it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. 
go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. All right. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. Right. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. True. Welcome to Stardust. Thank you. There's Majid. We should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. Yep. We need to hold on. All right, Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. No problem. I won't pester you about what it is. I know things are always very hush hush with Tomcat. Yeah, I'll thank make you. sure they get it later today. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We're completing stuff. All right, we need to you get back again. there. Yeah. All right, I'll let you in. Thank you. But you better stay out of trouble. Will do. I got rid of those folks. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? All right, then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Thanks. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. Yep. Access node at to city map. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. Oh? He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. Right. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. <laughs> Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. All right. Everything else going okay? Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. Okay. Things haven't gone too smoothly for so far. Things still going I okay? I kind of feel like dancing now. Want to join me? Yeah, I would, but don't have time. It's that darn duck. Everything doing okay? Give me a few minutes, okay? All right. Dog patch. What the? This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Yeah. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest, I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. Yeah. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let <laughs> us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. Right. Good to see your self preservation routines working overtime. I am no coward. I resent the accusation. I am not. After all, I didn't see you arguing against doing that favor for Jess in the first place. <laughs> but I don't feel like debating the merits of being prudent with you. All right. Tomcat is waiting for us, and maybe we can wrap this whole investigation up once and for all. Hopefully. Sander plastic bag level litter. This is the door to the access node that Tomcat told us about. We need to use the buzzer to get inside. Yeah. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. Oh? I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. I see. The simpler tags, visual shoutings of identity and existence, 
They exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with. But it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. Mm -hmm. Petty vandalism is beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles, in the mid-2030s, legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? Interesting. It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. Interesting. Perhaps I will visit once this is all done with. <laughs> oh, I'm very interested. Yeah, sure. Well, that graffiti is actually the symbol of gonzo journalism. Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. True. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. <laughs> hmm. I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light, perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? That's yeah, alright. We're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. <laughs> what if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. Yep. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Absolutely. Let's find Hayden. <laughs> hmm. Pipe. Seeing what all pipes should do. It's piping out that energy. Beautiful turbo generator, just generating energy. Wonder what it's using all this extra power. This is the door to an apartment building. It's not the access node. True. Gotta keep the generator cool, or else you know, it'll break. Yeah. Man needs no service. You even want to pick that up as practically scum welder to the street. This wall is pretty grimy. Stop touching it. Did it actually say something to you? Trippy doesn't even begin to describe what you're hearing right now. Hello? The guard isn't actually here. You need to press the buzzer on the door to get access. I see. Use door? Parallax lock, AN-19 security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Um... <laughs> 23, 12, 49, 10. Um, can I? Yeah, this is four. We're, uh, friends of Jess. I was wondering when you'd get there. You had the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? Yeah. That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened. And you're on your own if you get caught out there. Right. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. Let's go inside and I'll call Tomcat. This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. Yeah. I hope the systems are still functional. Oh, I forgot you can't see in darkness. 
Maybe that switch over there adjusts the lighting. Hopefully. Looks like light switch for the room. Well, let's flip the switch. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Thank you. Howdy! Y'all at the access node? Yeah. I'm set to slice in once turn makes physical access. Okay. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself, and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just pat yourself into the Lynx terminal down there, and I should be able to get started. Lynx. I think that's that. Connecting wirelessly to it... now! Okay. Permissions granted. Uh, please be careful in there. Yeah. Don't worry, doll. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. Right. One sec. Oh, shoot. Y'all have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. Okay. This system's still running on old cassettes, and the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. There right. should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Okay. Pretty sure all that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were separate from data networks. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. <laughs> Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Right. Figure out how to do that and hit me back up when you've done it. According to this poster, the data cassettes can only be moved by using the Lynx panel to control the utility arm. Well, that's the utility arm, I'm guessing, and those are the cassettes. This thing's checked to make sure everything is running okay. Sign warns the area contains signed voltage. I'd imagine. Now let's look at this spaghetti. Dirty Tango Wild Slam Thing. Where are the standards? Yeah. Modern version of cassettes like these are just a tenth of the size. Still, even these antiques hold extra bytes of information. Random graphs and diagnostics being tracked. Loose wires, be careful! Thank you. Login link servers Z77 Gamma. Welcome to links. Um, Re maintenance log? Authentication needed. Please use biometric reader to log in. Well, it's not gonna like me, so I'll abstain. Security records? Yeah. Operate transfer arm. Tract arm. Turn arm. Well, I guess uh, I'll figure this out next time. When we come back, folks. <sighs> All sorts of fun stuff. Have a good one, folks.